effort 100% on the old oil change. How do they do that? It was two, two, two start buttons, no foot on the brake, three gas pedal stops, one start button, and then she's good to go. Hey, right on, brother. No worries. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Well, good morning, folks. We're off the berry again. I've got my young lad with me this time. Hayden sure is handy to be able to drive through oil changes. Hey, we're going to pick up tires. We're picking up tires with all kinds of people. We've got my brother's got a set of 37s for the Ram. Look at this. First stop. Brother can't even wait. Drove all the way out here to meet me. Pretty good. And Adam there, he's doing a bit of a build uh, on the Wildcat this weekend, which I think we're going to get to be part of. Oh yeah. Does that ever change this son of a bitch? I've got a set of 28s in the trailer that Spaz bought for his young lad. That's one of you. Girl, you are a good girl. Yes, you are. You like the Honda now? What I mean is we gotta take out the 28s and get them mounted on the wheels for the young yeah. lad. Well, I'll have to check with Stefan. He was talking about buying floorboards. We gotta unpackage all the fire money. Boy, here's the old shipment of fire mud and products right there. We got back racks, floorboards, you name it. There's halos. You got a pile of Renegade floorboards and all the uh, Outlander boards. We've sold a bunch of things already. I'll start pulling some of these boxes and give you guys a peek at what's in there and what's available. No, oh, boys, we got her. We got her. We got her licked. Go see where Roger wants her. Hurry. Roger wants to know what we got. Let's take a look. These are all of our Halos, Bluetooth, 2.0s, the Rock Lights, 2.0s. We got Renegade, we got Outlander. These are a set of Bluetooth Rock Lights. These will plug right in with, with your uh, junction boxes here for your Halos, all your wiring. Really easy, easy peasy. So we got a set for Popo. And we've got all of our harnesses here. Each one gets one. Okay, so these are all the boxes for the back rack. Yeah. Four dry boxes in black for the racks that I do have that include Pelican cases. So you guys can get back racks with a Pelican case, without a Pelican case, with a backstop, without a backstop. And uh, we'll probably crack some of these open, maybe give you guys a peek. Oh yeah. Nice. And what are these again? These are the floorboards? So these are the Outlander short floorboards. Your hardware right there, right? Yellow looks good. You got all the hardware. Yeah, they look real nice. Hey, yeah, pretty nice. Good. Like that yellow is just... Where's my hardware? Right there, okay. So these are your mounting boxes. It's got them nicely done. Good. Protected with the foam. These ones have the uh, have the lip on them, the cooler stuff. Little... Actually, they look really nice. A little package of goodies that there. That looks really nice. Fire mud and sticker. Yeah. Keychain. So all of these are the ones that come with the boxes, right? And the stuff. So both available. Oh, and the Neo. Killer, right? He shortened up this back plate too for the cooler. So this looks really nice. It's nice, man. That does look clean. Very simple, very clean. Yeah. That looks sweet on the Renegade. It reminds me of... Uh, the back rack that's kind of like on, that's really kind of on the 18. That should be in there. Put you in my pocket, and I totally forgot those. Man, we was getting busy doing some work today. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a good thing I had my young lad. I wasn't. I wasn't there. You're back. You wouldn't be driving oh, right now. <laughs> man, I would need a walk. Got all the fire button product organized, uncreated, you know, and, and, and sorted for the boys so they can uh, know what they're grabbing and ship out to the lads if you're interested. I'm gonna have to talk to that. He's gonna send them handles and some more. Bring it up. No, it's not a sparkle guy. Why would he? He's just an all terrain rider. He likes a little bit of mud. He's not into deep water. Yeah, but when he goes with you. He still does it. He films, he'll stand, he'll watch and have fun. Oh, like it's all good. His young lad on the other hand wants to snorkel on and he's gonna get into it. So it's not for everybody, man. Yeah, anyways. And then we are loaded to the gills with wheels and tires, man. I got wheels and tires coming back to town for a couple buddies. Uh, got a couple lads from out of town there gonna be picking them up because it's just closer. Um, we've got some sets for Bay Marine. Bay Marine's actually gonna be wheeling and dealing some tires and uh, wheels 
for you guys to choose if you're buying a new bike and you you know you want to ride it in the showroom on a, a bigger set work them into your financing not have to flop out the cash kick-ass option right set of tires for my brother's truck wow wow toyos mts rough country or something mts yeah 37 inch they're monsters they're monsters the group of guys that new to you tires that roger has working there i honestly can't say enough good things everybody stayed late i mean nobody left until the work was done you know they just hustled together and we put the pressure on and the boys delivered 110 percent kick ass thanks again guys right on boys your tires are on the way look at that first stop brother can't even wait go all the way out here to meet me check out that drop hitch wow eh you know, that looks pretty wild. They're wide. They're wide. Look at this thing. Holy shit, I guess I didn't even get a shot of this. We're locked stock and cocked, eh? <laughs> I don't know what they look like compared to the ones that are on there. Yeah, look at her. Here's the setup before. The before. They're freaking huge, man. They're freaking huge, Troy. We need better lighting. I need the old flashlight. I got lots of hammocks, or I got extra hammocks. Yeah. yeah, I got two sets of 28s and two sets of 31s. In case any of you guys are interested in the area, hit me up. <laughs> Holy wheels and tires, man. This is nuts. I'm sorry I can't deliver any of your wheels or tires without testing them first. I'm gonna just here stop in and visit Spaz and drop off uh, the Young Lads wheels. Right on. It's like that po po sitting out front. It is indeed. So let's lighten up this trailer load just a little bit more. Don't worry. Let's see what the boys think of the tires and the wheels. So he gets lanyard and yeah. he gets that other KMC because that's what kind of wheels these are. And then stickers. He gets stickers. Oh, you got some for him? Yeah. Yeah, that was one. Give him a pair. Oh, I've given the young, I got a couple t shirts. Yeah, I got to get the keys out, bud. I didn't want anything, uh, didn't, didn't want anything disappearing, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a lot of cashola in the back there. Cass, you get back there, you get back there, you should head. You are so excited to see me every damn time, eh? You should be excited. That's what Jake should look like for wheels, eh? Oh, Jesus, Joe, open up the trailer, open up the trailer. Damn it, I know that's how you feel inside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Hello. totally right. So loud, brother. I got a couple more t-shirts. Those two t-shirts that are sitting in the back, grab those two. Check out the. There's your old girl. Clutch. Oh, nice. You're not even pissing around. Oh, you got her really shined up for me. So oh, yeah. yeah, the your renegade I brought over the other night. We're gonna adjust the clutches, and I noticed that the pin was kind of bent. So I've got Adam sending me out new pins, but uh, I've got the Renegade parked right now. And then uh, that looks great. Wow, Spaz, thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do all that, buddy. Yeah. And I got as soon as he here. saw it sitting on the bed, he's like, I'm going to polish this thing for you. I'm like, well, you can, man, if you want. Damn, damn, man. Sweet. I love it. Holy oh, yeah, that was a lot wicked. Oh. <laughs> You look sick. Look at the room you have. This is also good. Look at the room. No weight Holy crap, Jake. You don't know, spit a 30 on this thing. That's got better clearance than Chad's bike. There it is, boys. The Honda's got new shoes. New footprint, big time. She's uh she's kicked out a lot better. And you can tell, you can tell right away when he jumped on it to give her the old jiggle jiggle too that she's a little firmed up, like there's a lot less flex. So, but they're still inside the fenders, which means he's gonna stay fairly clean. I think you're gonna be just I, I think it's killer. Can't wait to get out with you, bud. Here shortly, you will. You know, he might lose some power, but he's. Well, he will because I mean he's gone up to a big tire and he's got now 14-inch wheel, but. Like, you're just not going to care because you're going to be able to walk through so much now. It's like, who cares? Let's face it, it's a Honda Rubicon. It wasn't going to be right. at the front of the pack in the drag race anyways. Yeah. So why not make sure she's just plenty capable? Yeah. It is wicked, man. You went from that crap. Look at it. Damn, man. 
Damn, son! Nope. Yeah, that's wicked. Pretty killer. The wife just called me. She wants us to swap over her winter tires to her summer tires when we get back. And I was just making jokes saying, yeah, we're tire professionals, eh? That's all we do, all day long. Tires, 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 and wheels. Gots to earn your keep. Right on, I wonder if the boys are smoking busy today or they're smoking busy every day actually. Already? Wow, that was quick. It's outlander on tracks. Yeah. Two. Boom! Alright boys. We're gonna lighten this trailer. <laughs> we are blowing way too much gas around the roads. Until we get a Cummins. It was ridiculous. Ah! So We'll get some of these sets in there. We got a couple sets of the bead locks for the boys here at Bay. We got a set of the nice, uh, what do we call them again? They were the, uh, oh, you slipped me, Boxer. MSA Boxer, Fuel Anza. And you guys have seen these already on the B. I really like these ones. These are the MSA uh, M31 Lock 2s. Mouthful, for sure. And then I've got a set for Adam, and we got some for sale, boys. So ring me up, man, and we'll get you hooked up with a great deal on some habits. All right, I'm going to put you guys away so I can get to work and roll these in. Them are nice steel ports. Outlander short frame. Yeah, no more looking at broken plastics and plywood and the old scrubbing all the time here and there would drive you nuts too. It's like hell now if you ended up wanting to, you go up fucking tire sizes. Yeah, there's the side plate right there, boys. That's going to replace this plastic there, so that's nice. That's going to be great on the inside of the bike. This is going to look killer, man. And you can get them with colored back plates too, boys, but uh, black on black just never black gets old. Black on black is looks good. Yes. I'm guessing that's probably stuff you get the call from the garage for his bike. Like that. So I, I always like the ice use the same clothes. We got some left in this stuff. That's where we're at. We've got our slim in place. We'll have to drill some holes. But uh, yeah, this is going to look killer. And we'll get the back plate in there. <laughs> totally cool. All right, we'll be back. We'll save you guys and we'll show you. Hello, boys. We got her. We got her. We got her licked. One side. And I think this is the worst side. I don't know. I mean, Actually, I don't think it can be worse. I mean, really easy install. Didn't realize you had to drill holes, but of course you got to drill holes. I just didn't think it out, right? I haven't done an Outlander. I've always had Renegades. So Renegades, definitely easy peasy. I mean, like real quick, I can on and off four boards within probably 10 to 15 minutes tops on a Renegade. I think on an Outlander, you're going to want to take your time, really make sure your plastics are where you want them before you go drilling your holes and everything. And uh, so, yeah measure twice cut once type of deal you know what i mean just be meticulous but really simple install i mean the worst i've had to do is drill a hole <laughs> you know stefan has got some prior damage and stuff so we're gonna probably pull this in with a hole here and uh some more hardware maybe a flusher mounting hardware along with that one back there i'm gonna change that out but um and then i trimmed off the taps and stuff just for looks but you can maybe file and sand it a little bit better but all in all i think it looks kick-ass I don't like turkey and I don't like ham either. Oh my god. That's like thank yeah, Thanksgiving. Mom sure hate, not ruin a holiday, boy. I know like, mom hates bringing me to Thanksgiving, so I'm like, how can a guy like hate turkey? Like it don't even make sense. I find turkeys really dry. Well, if somebody dried her out on you, it's dry, but if you cook her right, she's every bit juicy, man. Oh my god. Yeah. You know the weirdest part is, too? I don't like steak either. <laughs> You're just not even my son. <laughs> Illegitimate for sure. We're probably the same episode as the last episode. We've just been busy, 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 working, 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 and we're just talking about making sure that both bikes get out for a rep Easter weekend, which is next weekend. And you guys probably won't have seen this until after Easter, so I hope you guys had a great Easter, happy Easter, and enjoyed some turkey, unlike the young lad here. And ham, if that's your thing. Which, I think a little bit of both is like, oof, then you really can't, you know. But, 
uh, what do we got going on today, Hayden? Holy crap, we gotta go help your buddy. Uh, we're, we're doing both side by side, right? We got one more delivery, yeah. right? So Adam bought up the set of uh, claws you guys might be able to see behind me. I got the box yeah, full, so see them. the nice thing about the Ram, you got that flat back here that you can set them down on the floor and largest cab in the industry, they say. Well, they ain't kidding. Look at, I got a full set of tires in my back seat without damaging any of my fine looking interior. But uh, no, man, we're going to deliver Adam his set. Um, and uh, he's got himself, finally his parts have arrived. And I think he might've went directly. I don't know if he went directly Super ATV or if he fished him through somebody else. But uh, I believe we got a suspension lift and everything for the uh, Wildcat Trail, his wife's machine. And a new set of tires and wheels to go on it. So not only are we delivering today, but we're meeting my brother and Phil are both gonna be doing a little shop work. So let's go hang out with the boys, man, and see the transition, the transformation of the Wildcat. As soon as the nut won't come off or a bolt don't come off. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Brother's got the old temper. Always fun to work with at the shop. Me and Phil get laugh because Phil's pretty uh, collective and controlled. Yeah, he yeah. is. So I don't know what Adam's like to work with. Oh, you know, we had his high lifter over when we did something at Troy's Garage. He seemed pretty calm and collective as well. <laughs> I fly off the handle a little bit. I don't have to turn the camera off too many times, but I got a touch of the same adrenaline in me as yeah, my brother does. It's, hey, when it's things it's don't go good. your way, you I'm just kind of, you want to chuck the old wrench for a minute and regroup, but I can come back with the sound head, I think. Anyways, we'll get back to your boys as soon as we get close to the shop and uh, see what Adam's actually got to install today. And uh, yeah, this should be fun, man. Are we the first ones to arrive? Unless the driveway goes back around. Oh, he's got a new shop. You've been working hard, eh, on this uh, shop I've seen on social media, bud. Wow, yeah, she's finally done. Oh, that's tits, bud. Look at you, you got the old man corner. Oh, yeah. So you've already got a start on her, eh? You've got just, uh, just pull off skid plates and stuff, right, Adam? Yeah, yeah, skid plates right now. I didn't think I did. There's, there's one underneath the front of the back. I think I gotta take those off. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, what a great looking little trail unit these are. Well, maybe we should uh, probably unload the tires and bring them in, eh? Let's check out Adam's spread here. So Georgie's family goes way back to my family moment. Moments were bestest of friends. He grabbed a huge chunk. Oh my lord. It goes all the way back. Oh, oh 2, 000, buddy. 2,000 feet back. Yeah, all right. That's a straight shot from the road, so you could have drags on both. Yeah, we're not going to have any houses or problems <laughs> back here. You own it. It's all yours. This is awesome. Upgraded springs, the whole Super ATV suspension kit here. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, well, I got a breaker bar in the old uh, truck that'll take care of those and Jeff. You know, we're gonna need a new battery here already. I'll have to get another one in charge, but Ian's jumping into the clutch kit, which is what, EPI Ian or Dalton? Dalton. Back here, he's already got the clutches torn apart. This thing's never seen a drop of water in the old belt box. Holy crap, it looks brand new back here, boys. Ian, when you're taking those axles out, so you push in to release, do you grab the cup and then just slide out? Or don't yank it, just release, pull straight out. If you see the center, I do. it comes out. Yeah. Well, when that comes out, yeah, all you gotta do is grab a cup here and yeah, pull straight thing. back. This is so just a theory, simple push in, and then you should be able to right. simply withdraw it. That was really buttery, man. That's how the back oh, one should, should have been, but it had a little bit see, of uh, penetration and corrosion. These, the front ones okay. oh, are wow. in the diff oil. Okay. The back okay. one, it's a spool. Okay. So there's nothing, there's no oil in it. Yeah. It goes yeah. from one side to the other. Okay. And they, they're dirty. That came out like butter. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute butter. Yeah, basically just buttery, yeah. 
pulling and pushing some, and pulling and yanking and we'll yanking. Stop from uh, popping. Yeah, stop them from popping it. So yeah, totally would. Oh. Weights are going in there, boys, just like that. Uh, there. Do this the other way, Brent. Uh, Again, how not to do your clutches. <laughs> master here. Oh, okay, that, there. Point, that same line goes all the way to the back. Still got to run our brake lines, get them in place. What's that? Oh, that's right. Shock mouse to the upper. Yes. Yeah. Where's the short stubbies go in the rear? Now you can tell the problem because they've got the see the spline on it. Yeah, I do see them. I do see them. That goes right inside the No shit, eh? Alright, I'm going back towards you. Yeah, I'm out, boys. There she goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she closed right in. That pretty much completes the rear. We'll come out the side and then we'll zip tie this over to the uh, to the frame. And then this one here, just avoiding the harnesses and coming up and under. Looks real good. Come in. I can't imagine the difference in the stability you, you must feel driving her. What a transformation. Just spoil. Cool. Till next time, boys. Right on. Players from boys. I 
mean, it, you know, kind of, I know a lot of you guys are used to it, but. Ah, she's near completion, man, but. Uh, <laughs> it's a Polaris problem. You notice they're pushing it? <laughs> right on, boys. Got some swag. Holy go. shit. Look at that. Swag for the boys. Grabbing tires. Right on. Give it